hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the new iMovie update that released a few days ago i will be going over some of the new features and how some of it works and then in the future i'll be doing more videos more focus on how to exactly use these new features so first i want to take a look at all the notes that was released with the update so here you can see the what's new section in imovie um, so that you can see everything that is new there are two main new features which is magic movie and storyboards which we'll get into a bit later um, but those are the main new features and here you can see they just give you a lot of information about exactly what is new and how you can use these new features so let's go into iMovie and take a look at the new features that is installed. When you open up iMovie, this screen will pop up, which will tell you that there are some new features after you've updated the app. And once you're past that screen, this is what you will now see. So previously you just had like a little plus block um, where you can add new movies, but here you can see start new project has its own little thing here at the bottom. And then you have three categories. So the first one I want to cover is just movie down here. So movie is exactly what we are used to with iMovie. You just choose your clips, go to your timeline and edit your video. It's as simple as that. There's nothing new with movie. That's just how we've always known iMovie on iPhone. But now we have these two new features, which is magic movie and storyboard. The first one I'm going to cover is magic movie. So choose your media and let iMovie create a movie for you. So I'm just going to choose a few clips and let's see what iMovie does with it. So once it's downloaded and imported all your clips, you'll see it in this little list view here. And then you can scrub through the, your entire video by just going like this. And it only took a few seconds out of each clip from one to five seconds of each clip, as you can see here. And it did add some cool animations as well. So here you can see it did a little transition there. So it does make it very nice. Here you can see um, it did this cool little animation to the next clip. It's so nice and it's a really fun, easy way to quickly just make your videos. Some clips didn't select exactly how you might want it to. So you can also go in here, click on this little pencil icon here and click on edit clip. And then you can just select exactly how you want the clip to be so that it's maybe um, a different part of that selected clip. So here you can see you have your editing options here. So if I want to split the clip right here, I can just click on edit here and choose what I want to do with it. So I'm just going to click on this option here. So it's going to delete the first part and then keep that part. Um, so you can go ahead and do that through all your video clips, depending on the theme that you have selected. So for instance, I have selected here the click theme. That is why some of the transitions are like this. That's because I chose the click theme, which I really, really like. And I think it just adds a lot to the, your video. But you can also go in and choose which clips you want um, a specific transition on. You can even go ahead and go to your, maybe like your first clip and add a title to it. So depending again on the theme that you have. So I have the click theme. You have different types of titles here that you can add over your video clips. So if I wanted to have this be my title, I can go ahead and just edit that. Um, and this is what the intro will look like then, which really just works with the whole aesthetic of the video. I really, really like it. So that is the basics for a magic movie. Um, it's really fun and it's very easy and you can even go in and edit it afterwards if you're not entirely happy with it. Um, but it's a quick way to edit a video uh, and I really like this update. Um, once you're done with your video, you can just go ahead here and just export your video as you would normally do. Um, and then you're basically done or you can just click on done here if you just want to save your project and then you can work on it again Then the next option here is probably the biggest update which is storyboards Now i'm just going to be quickly going over storyboards and exactly what it is And then I will be doing a full tutorial on storyboards and how to use it So storyboards here use beautiful templates to easily create a video or movie trailer So click on that and here you can see you have your basic templates here. So you have different types of YouTube videos that you might want to make or other things like that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a how it works. So I'm gonna click on that. And then you can see it just shows you again the types of themes that you maybe want for your video. Um, the image that you have here is just for reference. So your clips will be in the place of this image. So again, you can just choose which one you want. I'm gonna go for the notepad one. Um, just so I can show you guys a different type of style. And then again, you have your music that you can choose, 
the color so you don't have to go with that color they have some other options here as well depending on what you've selected then you also have the font that you can change here so they have a few different fonts here as well and then also if you want to add filters to it so then i'm just going to click on create here and then it's going to go to this screen here so first thing you want to do is add your text title um, so that and it has a little background here so this is what it looks like when you play it so you can just go ahead and rename that clip or edit that clip and then you can see it goes through your entire video and um, asks you to add in certain clips so it basically gives you a template and you just add in the corresponding clips to that so it really helps you create your story so first off you want to do is add a reference shot so this will vary depending on the type of video you selected so this is a how-to video but if you maybe selected a get to know me video or a diy video this will be different um so first off you have origin so what are you explaining today um and then you can just click on the plus button here and add your clip choose from library or you can just take your video from here so i just added in that video um, and then you can go ahead and say reference shot again illustrate your point um, then you can have a close-up share fun fact that you might not be well known maybe about what you're saying then you have a breakdown and again references to you what type of shots you might want to use so you have a close-up um, another reference shot and a medium shot so they basically just takes you through the motions of telling your story that you want to tell um, like i said let's go to another different type of storyboard so if i go to gaming here again i'm just going to go with the neon theme that it gives you right here click on create so this is going to be a different story so for gaming you're going to have a screen capture so this is whatever game you're going to be showing you're going to want to have a screen recording at that and it takes you through all the things that you might want to add to your video to make it as compelling for your audience so you have your screen capture to discuss different things so the gameplay um, the strategy um, previous attempts and then you also have a testimonial of like how you feel about the game and things like that and then a close-up for other players so that is how it takes you through to give you a good idea of how to create a compelling story for your audience Cooking video is also a different story, so it's going to be entirely different from other videos that may be created. So you're going to have a title footage, so maybe that's B-roll of whatever you're cooking. Then close-up and medium shots, then for like ingredients and things like that, you're going to want to add in some shots. And then it just tells you how it thinks you should go about adding in your clips to your video. You can also rename and delete some clips. You can also add in some more clicks down here and then say add, um, choose from library. You can just add clip with the title. Um, so you can just choose that as well. And it just takes you through the motions of creating your video. But that is the new iMovie 3.0 update. I hope this video helped you guys getting some grasp of exactly what this update entails and how you can use it for your own videos um let me know in the comments down below if, if any other questions regarding this um and then i'll definitely get back to you guys if you did enjoy this video and it was helpful give this video a thumbs up it really does help out a lot and definitely subscribe and stay tuned for more videos on this update and more in-depth tutorials if you're interested in that and definitely click on the playlist to see all of my other iMovie related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.